Hear that? That's the sound of someone trying to steal your crypto. Every day, thousands of hackers online are doing the same. That's why Arculus uses air-gapped cold storage technology to protect your assets. Using our keycard and wallet app to form a protective barrier, Arculus insulates you from hackers and puts control of your digital assets back in your hands. Order the first truly air-gapped crypto wallet at GetArculus.com. Oh, how exciting. It's a grand final week in Perth. The truckie has the vid. He came in and out in two days. Joining us is former Eagle and Channel 7's Adrian Barrich. Barra, oh boy, a bit nervous? Rowing, my friend, yes, we were a bit nervous when they called a snap uh, press conference for 1.45 over here. Channel 7 took it live and a shutter went through the state on uh, surely not on the eve of the grand mm. final. has been a positive. Well, there has been a positive, but the truckie from New South Wales, he was here last week, was here for less than two days. He did everything right. When he was out of the truck, he wore his mask. He only, only went stopped at... Uh, the stopover places to buy, you know, Chico Rolls or whatever they buy. <laughs> and those sites are being nominated and people will have to uh, sort of quarantine if they, were, if they were there. But at this stage, no dramas, no effect on the grand final. And we're ploughing on, my friend, and just fingers crossed we'll get to Saturday at 5.15 mm. here in Perth. Well, I think the nerves come from old mate McGowan. I mean, he can get trigger happy, can't he? Oh, mate, he's the king here. It's quite it's quite remarkable. I was at the Brownlow, and the front table had my boss, Mr. Kerry Stokes, and uh, Goida was there, the, the chairman of the AFL, and uh, the rest of the the power elite. And then sitting next to him, McGowan and his wife, and then the police commissioner and his wife as well. So that just gives you an idea as to mm. where things lay at the moment. But they have been very good, the police, in terms of and the health officer, in terms of allowing. Uh, some flexibility in terms of what the players can do. And they're all out of quarantine now and around the place, but trying to keep a low profile and just hoping against hope that nothing happens. Yeah. Three more sleeps until the GF. It's in your state. Maybe never happen again. Um, are they getting excited? Paint us a bit of a picture of the town of Perth, Barra. Oh, mate, it's actually, it's absolutely taken off. Since Brownlow night, each each day there's something in the city Mostly hosted by Basil Zemplis. Basil <laughs> used to come like Eddie, Ed, Eddie everywhere. He's bigger than Eddie Maguire. It's quite remarkable. Brilliant. He was hosting the breakfast this morning at uh, Crown Casino, and everybody was there. That it, the excitement is because it's a footy town. It's a bit different from Queensland and mm. from Brisbane, and especially with the, when they went out the lines. You know what I mean? So here we've just embraced. Everyone's chosen a team. Uh, even Gil was asked for a tip today. The, the CEO of the AFL on stage and he reckons that the coaches get a bit weird at this time. He said, even Simon Goodwin, even Simon Goodwin, if I chipped the Bulldogs, I'd be hearing from him. So he said, I'm okay. chipping a draw, Bevo, otherwise Bevo will try to kill me. <laughs> and it's, uh, it is, it is, it, it's the hysteria has taken over and it's really nice to see. And we know we've sort of got a sacred duty, I suppose, to make sure that it all goes well and we don't balls it up and we can hand it back next year. I'll get you to join my footy sweep shortly with the margin, the Norm Smith and who wins, but everyone loves a Cinderella story. Perth people do. They play the under, you know, the, the underdog card a bit. Oh, um, don't we ever, brother. <laughs> yeah, 64 is a long time ago. Is, yeah. is Melbourne getting the majority of the support? They are, yeah. They've been I fully so. embraced here. And I think it's becoming problematical too because They've only played once in four weeks and they're super aware of it because they know that there's an ambush coming and Port Adelaide got ambushed and they they think, hang on, we've seen that happen. This could happen to us. And and you know what it's like, you've played footy. If you haven't played for a couple of weeks or you only played one game in in a month, it does take the edge off you. So I don't know what they're doing and how they're going to counter that, but it feels like it's a really even money game. And with that Bulldogs midfield, I reckon they're going to serve it up to them early. So... Could be a cracker. Could be a game for the ages, and hopefully it is. Okay, give us your tip, your margin, and your Norm Smith. It's just a tip. We won't hold you to it, Barra. Well, I, I reckon it's going to be super close. I think I'm going to go with Melbourne just because of of the emotion of it all and probably because of Max Gorn in some ways, but I'm not sure their midfield's as good as the Bulldogs. But, yeah, so I'm going with Melbourne by a couple of points, maybe, say, six points, which means I'll probably go Cozzy Pickett. For oh, the Norm yeah. Smith, because it's always someone out of the mainstream, isn't it? They get that wins the medal mostly, like Andrew Embley when we played and that sort of thing. So, yeah, so I'm going for Melbourne, Cozzy Pickett, and a couple of points.
Beautiful. On Bulldogs, five points and Bont to win the medal. He missed out on the Brownlow. Well done, Barra. Good good on you, mate. It's always good to talk to you, great man. And uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, hopefully everyone will catch it on Channel 7 or be listening to the radio. Kane Corns is everywhere, mate. He's bloody uh, <laughs> sidekick. You should see him. He's getting that many cashies. It's going to be unbelievable. Oh, hit him up. If you hit, hit him up if he owes you money. Stop it. Well, we're flying our 5AA footy crew over there, 40 of our top sponsors to enjoy the weekend. I'm going to be the host, so it could get ugly, Barra. Oh, oh brilliant. Uh. I'll look out for you, my friend. <laughs> Adrian <laughs> You'll get Barrich. the red carpet from us. Yeah, all the good work. Australian. Good See work. You, buddy. Yeah, Adrian Barrett's there for Channel 7 Perth. Brilliant. Every day, thousands of hackers try to steal your crypto. But Arculus uses air-gapped technology by forming a protective barrier that insulates you from hackers and secures your crypto. Order yours at getarculus.com.